Hey everybody, how's it going? So in today's lesson, we're going to do a, like a five minute quick tutorial on how to make a face for your self-portrait project. I'm going to make it pretty simple. You don't have to be very perfect. So uh, just follow along with this. You can create something on your own and have fun and uh, turn that in as your project. So the first thing you want to do is you want to draw an oval. Uh, and the reason I say that is because most human faces look like ovals or they have a variation of ovals. Some of them are a little bit more square. Some of them are rounder. But you're never going to see a perfect circle. So you want to start off with, a, with an oval. So here we go. And before we get started, I forgot to tell you that the materials you're really going to need for this tutorial are going to be a piece of paper. It can be uh, drawing paper, or whatever scratch paper you find. A number two pencil. This is really good for drawing and shading. If you have extra shading pencils, that's okay. It is optional. You don't have to have them, but they do help. And uh, you definitely need a separate eraser. The one at the end of your pencil will probably not do so well because you're going to make a lot of mistakes. So do I, and we're going to be erasing. So number two pencil, eraser. Okay. And when we draw, let's go ahead and draw the oval. Okay. And depending on the person or what you look like, sometimes the oval could be a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. As you can see, this is a shorter, oh, actually, sorry, this one is the shorter oval. So this person has a smaller, shorter face. This person has a more elongated face and you can even go longer than that. All right, so now that we drew our oval, let's go ahead and divide it in half. We're gonna go ahead and divide it in half like this. Make sure when you start drawing and sketching that do, you do not Push too much pressure on your pencil. So don't draw too dark in case you need to erase. So you sketch it out first, lightly, and then you go back with darker lines. So hope, hopefully you can see this on my camera. All right, let's continue. So we, we drew our oval. We divide it in half. Let's go ahead and divide it in the other half. Okay, the other half. And this is where our eyes are going to sit. Our eyeballs are going to sit somewhere around that area. All right. So as you can see, it already kind of looks like a face. Okay. So the first thing I like to do after all this is I like to start off with the nose. Okay. So the nose should be lining up this middle line. So one side of the nose here, one side of the nose there. Okay, you don't want your nose to be too big or too small. This is just about right, okay? So we're gonna bring our nose down in here. Okay, and before I continue with my nose, let's go ahead and divide this half of the face into another half. Another half, just like this. All right, so we have half here, this half, and then this half. So go ahead and do that. And let me know how that looks. Okay, so we've divided this. And this is where the lips and the nose are going to meet. But they're not going to touch this line. The nose is going to come up going to come down, sorry, come down to about this point above this line. And then the lips are going to sit below that line. Okay. So let's go ahead and put our nose down to here with a, with a curve. And then we put a little bit of the nostrils, a dark oval here, one here, one here. 
And then we're going to just curve that and curve this side. Doesn't have to close. It can be just like that. That looks like a nose, right? And it, remember that it doesn't touch this line. It stays above it. And then below this line are the lips. The lips should be about the width of the nose or bigger. Do not make them smaller. It will, it'll look a little strange. So let's go a little bit beyond the nose. Give a nice smile or lips like that. Oops. Let's go ahead and uh, turn off that timer. And we have lips. And let's go ahead and divide. Let's put a little smile on that face. There we go. Okay, that probably went a little bit big, but better than too small. Okay. And you can always erase and make it smaller. All right. So we have nose. We have lips. Let's go ahead, go ahead and draw the eyes. Eyes should be between this area and the edge of the face. Okay, so we have that. Make sure that you draw ovals that are going horizontal. Here's one. Here's another. And they can sit on this middle line or go above depending on how you want your person to look, okay? And then we put some eyeballs. Remember that the eyeballs do not go all the way around like this. They kind of tuck in at the top there. They tuck in at the top, kind of cuts off there. And then we put a little pupil there. Looks like a person, right? Next thing you want to do is you want to go to the sides of the jaw right about here and you can make a neck. Neck should kind of slightly curve a little bit like that, okay? You can make it a little bit wider if you want to be like a super muscular guy, if you want a, you want a more feminine look, the neck could be a little thinner. Okay, depends on what you're going for. Okay, and then let's go ahead and we're going to go to the middle of this section. And this is where the hairline kind of starts. Okay, don't make it all, don't make hair all the way over here. It's going to look weird. It's somewhere around here. Okay, and we can divide that into a hairstyle, give it some lines. And then before we continue, let's go ahead and do the ears real quick. Ears should be lined up between the eye, here and here, okay? The bottom of the ear should be a little bit more narrow, and then the top sticks out just a little bit more, like that. And then here also, you can always use a ruler to sort of like Line it up, or you can sketch it real quick just for fun. Okay, we got some ears, very cool. Here's a little loop for the ear, another loop right there. And let's continue with the hair, okay? If you want it to look like a some kind of a boy or something, you can go for a short haircut. If you want it to look like a girl or have someone, a person with longer hair, you can stretch this longer like that okay maybe put some funny hat if you want to uh you can put a t-shirt with some kind of uh stripes or patterns oops can't really see it there we go and that is it okay real quick before we go before we go uh, we drew everything here. Uh, we, there's a couple details that we need to add. Let's go ahead and add some eyebrows. We haven't added any eyebrows yet, so we can put an eyebrow here. Make sure it curves at this point here on this edge. Goes towards the nose. 
looks like the eye is curving. Okay. Same thing here. Give it a little bit of space, not too much and not too little. Probably about probably like a finger's worth or something. Uh, but this point starts to slant towards the eye and the nose here. You can make them thin. You can make them a little thicker if you want, just by scratching your pencil. Okay, very good. And let's let's add some uh, eyelashes. You can make your eyelashes small or a little longer, and they change direction depending on where you are on the eye. So on this side of the eye, they fall this way on this corner they fall this way and at the top of the eye they're pretty straight so they slant here and they slant there pretty good and then we can add a little bit of an eyelid a little bit of an eyelid there and a little bit of an eyelid eyelid right here and it gives a natural look okay and that's going to be it. We have everything we need. Uh, have fun. You can change the hairstyle. Uh, you know, you can adjust the, the jawline, you know. And make sure you give some details on the T-shirt and on the background. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Like and subscribe. And I will see you later.